Drum Dream Girl How One Girl's Courage Changed Music by Margarita Engel On an island of music in a city of drum beats, the drum dream girl dreamed of pounding tall conga drums, tapping small bongo drums, and boom boom booming with long loud sticks on big round silvery moon bright timbales. But everyone on the island of music in the city of drum beats believed that only boys should play drums. So the drum dream girl had to keep dreaming quiet, secret drum beat dreams. At outdoor ta cafes that looked like gardens, she heard drums played by men, but when she closed her eyes, she could also hear her own imaginary music. When she walked under wind-wavy palm trees in a flower-bright park, she heard the whir of parrot wings, the clack of woodpecker beaks, the dancing tap of her own footsteps, and the comforting pat of her own heartbeat. At carnivals, she listened to the rattling beat of towering dancers on stilts and the dragon clang of costumed drummers wearing huge masks. At home, her fingertips rolled out their own dreamy drum rhythm on tables and chairs. And even though everyone kept reminding her that girls on the island had never played drums. The brave drum dream girl dared to play tall conga drums, small bongo drums, and big round silvery moon bright timbales. Her hands seemed to fly as they rippled, rapped, and pounded all the rhythms of her drum dreams. Her big sisters were so excited that they invited her to join their new all-girl dance band. But their father said only boys should play drums. So the drum dream girl had to keep dreaming and drumming alone. Until finally her father offered to find a music teacher who could decide if her drums deserved to be heard. The drum dream girl's teacher was amazed. The girl knew so much, but he taught her more and more and more, and she practiced and practiced and practiced. Until the teacher agreed that she was ready to play her small bongo drums outdoors at a starlit cafe that looked like a garden. Where everyone who heard her dream bright music sang and danced and decided that girls should always be allowed to play drums and both girls and boys should feel free to dream. This poem was inspired by the childhood of a Chinese African Cuban girl who broke Cuba's traditional taboo against female drummers. In 1932, at the age of 10, Mio Castro Saldariaga performed with her older sisters as Ana Caona, Cuba's first all-girl dance band, Mio became a world-famous musician, playing alongside all the American jazz greats of the era. At age 15, she played her bongo drums at a New York birthday celebration for U.S. President Franklin Delano Roosevelt, where she was enthusiastically cheered by First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt. There are now many female drummers in Cuba. Thanks to Mio's courage, becoming a drummer is no longer an unattainable dream for girls on the island.